Are you ready for some great superstar entertainment? Without further ado, we bring to you the one, the only, my man, my friend, your friend, everybody's friend. Ladies and gentlemen, my man, my good friend, Mr. Paul Santos! How's everybody feeling tonight? Oh, chops. We got another hot crowd again. Huh? We're on a roll here. Welcome, welcome to the Paul Santos Live Show. Oh, we just have talent with a capital G tonight. We didn't know we we're going to put all these guests, but we're going to get them all in for sure because we are loaded with talent. Starting, of course, with the sidekick of the century, the co host with class. And yes, we definitely need it. It's Chops Turner! Look at those moves on Chops, I'll tell you. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And speaking of moves, how about some grooves on this side of the table? It's Arnie DeMello. It's Gary Langevin. Give it up for the Paul Santos Live Show Band. Thank you, Paul. Ah, you know, we bring you the uh, talented, the interesting, and the entertaining from our area. You know, we don't have political people on too often, but we have a terrific political person tonight. He just got re-elected to the New Bedford City Councilor. We call him the singing councilor. Shane Burgo is here tonight. Ah, Shane Bennett. Wow. And in a little while, she's going to be here in just a few minutes. She's coming down from Boston. Boston's queen of the blues yeah. is coming back. Tony Lynn Washington. I, I love her. Oh, we all love her. Oh, she is fantastic. With a brand new podcast in the morning with B-Mags. Janine Ronda Hunt is in the house. Yes, sir. And we have a tremendous comic. His name is Liam Marr. Yeah, yeah. And we have our comedy director, Allison Dyan. All right. All right. Hey, Josh, how about we get caught up in the news, huh? All right, let's, let's give it a whirl over here. Anybody see the Patriots this weekend? Oh, man. Oh, man, you know, that offense is bad. I mean real bad. How bad are they? Their offense is so bad they couldn't find the end zone with a GPS. Oh. That was pretty good. That was actually that was pretty good. The strategy, the strategy was Hail Maria without the Maria. Hey, Maria. Hey, Maria. Yeah, it got so bad they started bringing in people from the halftime show. I mean, it was ugly. What? Whoa. You with the tuba, go deep. They asked Bill Belichick, they said, gee, isn't there a couple of things left that you haven't tried yet? He said, yeah, hope and pray. <laughs> hey, you know, we talked about a Hail Mary. I mean, most people are your football fans or not, right? The Hail Mary pass is like a real, real long shot. I mean, it works like one every hundred times or something. But this last week, I was watching this. The craziest thing, I've never seen this before. There was a Hail Mary pass at the half by the Jets. It was intercepted by a Dolphins player. And the Dolphins player ran it all the way back for a touchdown. Imagine that. Really? Yeah, they called that the Our Father. Oh. Our Father was in the end zone. Oh, hallowed be the game. No, sorry. <laughs> you know why they call it the Our Father? Why? You can throw it far, but our guy can run it back farther. Oh, that is blasphemy. Blasphemy. <laughs> blasphemy. Hey, hey. <laughs> a recent halftime show, right? A recent halftime show featured the great Dolly Parton dressed in a Dallas Cowboy cheerleader outfit. Did you see that? What? It's amazing. Wow. Yeah, yeah, she's an older woman, but she looked fantastic. Yeah. She sang great. But that wasn't the best part, Chops. That wasn't the best oh. part. You're going to ruin a good thing. The best part was when Dolly Parton dropped back into double coverage. Oh! Good thing she wasn't playing a tight end. Was... <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I left that one in there just for me. I'm I sorry. Know, I, I know, I know. <laughs> me and Johnny J, we both like that one. <laughs> Johnny J, no, he doesn't want you mentioning his name over the air, by the way. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyway. supposed to be at work or something? I don't know. They asked, they asked Tom Brady about it. He said, no deflate gate there. I Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Come on now. Anyway, all right, let's get back on track. Let's get back. We're going to be good tonight. We're going to be good. Hey. Why? How was your Thanksgiving, folks? Everybody have yeah. a good Thanksgiving? Mm, 
Gobble, gobble. Spent time with family and friends and stuff like that. I got to tell you, my Thanksgiving was going great until Thanksgiving night. That's when I opened my cable bill. Realized I got stuffed again. Wow. Hey, I'm glad we got a Shane Burgo, New Bedford City Council here tonight. Shane, yes, Your Honor. Welcome. Well. Welcome back, Your Honor. Well, you know, the New Bedford City Council is considering allowing microblading at beauty salons. What? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Microblading. I thought that was something Casey's girlfriend does to him on date night. Oh, and that's not fake news. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Itty bitty bitty microblading. Little, little baby wanker. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Casey. Casey's really taken a lot of shots at me over the years. So Did I you gotta, have a lot of drinks? I, I got to get mine in there. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, no, microblading is really a procedure that enhances the eyebrows. So that's what the thing is. It's a, you know, whether or not that's considered, you know, like a tattoo or something like that. Hey, you got to be careful, you know. When you get one of those enhancements to the eyebrows, sometimes you can screw it up and you walk around like this job, surprised all the time. What? What's with the unibrow, bro? Haven't you seen people that go in a little overboard with the eyebrows and yeah. walk around like that? That's like the open mouth smile. Like, Merry Christmas, Gary. Yeah. Hi, Merry Christmas to you. <laughs> Chops ran into an ex that had that problem. Hey, <laughs> hey Chops. <laughs> hey, Chops, remember me? You're surprised to see me? I've never been the same since. <laughs> you think you're surprised now, huh? <laughs> Whoa. Yep, she's 16. She's off to high school now. <laughs> she looks just like it. Oh, man. Hey, there's a rapper by the name of uh, Sean Diddy Combs. What? And uh, yeah. Sean Diddy Combs is in a little bit of a jam. He's actually been uh, charged uh, with a very serious assault. Oh, now, his good friend, rapper 50 Cent, sent him a word of encouragement. Well, that's fine. But when Diddy gets 15 to 20, a word from 50 ain't going to help. Hey. How's that Juicy Brucey doing tonight? Hey, Juicy, what's Juicy. happening, man? Didn't he have a birthday? Uh, I birthday? see a smile on Juicy's face. That helps out. Hey, bro, you can help Just a little bit. What's happening? He's having juice over there. Yeah. Yeah, special juice. Ooh. I thought oh, I only had the special Oh, I have the special cigarettes. <laughs> yeah, he's got the special cigarettes. Well, uh, all you folks that are rolling in the aisles, you can get back in your seats, because I've now <laughs> got to oh that point God. in the show. No, they're choking. They're choking. They're choking. They're not laughing. They're choking. Wait a minute. I am now going to deliver to you the final joke of the night. What? Oh, final joke. Hey, you know that uh, famous duo, Hall and Oates? No, no. They're in some kind of a dispute. Hall is suing Oates. Did you see that? Really? Yeah, but it's a sealed case. Okay. And a lot of people don't know what it's about. But you know they have the I-team on Channel 5? That's right, yeah. Well, we have the P-team on the Paul Santos Live Show. That's right. And the P stands for penetrate. You get right in there to figure out what's going on. See, I didn't don't know listen that. to Gary over here. <laughs> it stands for... <laughs> no, no, it stands for penetrate. I thought it stands for pathetic. I, I thought it was pathetic. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm going to be pathetic when we get into the bottom oh, of oh, it. Oh, punctual, that's right. We yeah, are getting punctual, punctual. But anyway, it's a sealed case. And of course, you get Hall and Oates fighting with each other. Two men arguing. Of course, Chops, there's a woman involved, you know? Oh, wah, wah. In fact, she's a man-eater. Oh, watch out. Hey, Whoa, I didn't see that coming. But not through. the good kind. Hey. Oh, I didn't see that. Hall can't go for that. Can't go for that. Ow. <laughs> Looks like they lost that love and feeling. Ow. Hey, it got ugly. When Oates claimed that Hall stole one of their farm animals, and it turned into Hall and goats. I've heard of sowing your wild oats, but not your wild oats. What? Goats. You know, I gotta say, I, I was supposed to say goats there. Can I, I just say? Can I just say that this, no, is, no. this is one of the finest. Nights you've ha ever had. In your oh, life. thank you very much. Let's hear it. Let's hear it for Gary. That's right. No, no, don't, don't. It says, without you, there's no me, okay? Hey, I got, I got to write this crap once a week. It's not easy. You know what I'm saying? Hey, uh, let's thank our sponsors. How about Mikey B's? That's where we're Mikey coming from tonight. B's. 
Oh, that's right. right. The North End. We have to thank them for letting us be here. How about J&J &J Materials, John Ferreira? J &J. Good friend of Chops Turner. John Ferreira. My good friend, Attorney John B. C. John, okay, Counselor, I object. Tomatoes Italian Grill with Chops Turner sings every Saturday night with Carlene Marshall. We love it there. Oh, if you want to get your groove on, you better go down there, baby. Yeah, get there oh, early. Oh, yeah. Gotta we, get the, gotta get we there party early. all night down there at Tomatoes early. when Chops is down there. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's see. What else we got here? What else we got here? Where am I? Ah, yes, Alden Court. Sharon Jensen, thank you very much wow. for being one of our sponsors, Cisco New Bedford, Mr. Silverstein. Wow. Thank you very much, Chops. It's, wow. all, it's all right, Chops. You can lift your head. And last but not least, the man who puts all these wires together, yes, sir. and he now thinks he's a stand-up comic, ladies and gentlemen from Bristol County Media, Mr. Aaron Kaju. Aaron the Baron. I don't talk a lot about my personal life, but I met a new lady recently, and Paul said congratulations, and he said, why don't you bring her down to the show one night? And I said, look, I want this relationship to last. Yeah, but. he didn't just say that. What? You gotta be careful. He's awful sensitive, Aaron. <laughs> hey, look, look. You know, just just push the buttons over there, okay? <laughs> yeah. All right. There's Aaron no Kaju. collusion. There's no collusion. No collusion. No collusion. All right. You know who's up, Chops? The singing counselor right after this. Say hello to Gary Landerman and the Paul Santos Live Band. And a word from J&J &J Materials. We'll be right back. We are joined by John Ferreira of J and J Materials out here in Rehoboth, Massachusetts. John, always good to see you. Thank you. Always good to see you too. You know, I know you've had great success here in your business. How did you get into this particular business? I bought this property and decided to open a little retail yard. You know, something small for small contractors. And the J and J came from my two kids, John and Janelle. How long have you had this business? So J and J opened in 1993. Nantucket Pavers, 1996. We manufacture and sell patio block to Home Depot in 48 states and uh, turned into a pretty huge operation as you can see. We got five stores, two in Rhode Island, three in Massachusetts and we're the largest landscape supplier in southeastern Mass in Rhode Island. We've always got good staff and over 100 employees and I've got a lot of people that have been with me over 30 years. How much inventory do you have here? So J&J &J has on pretty much at all times between five and six million dollars worth of pavers, stone, mulch, landscape supplies, masonry supplies, cultured stone for chimneys, anything you need for your home. You also have trucks coming and going all the time. Yes, oh yeah, there's trucks picking up aggregates, picking up stone, bock mulch, screen loom. You know, a lot of mason contractors come for their mason sand and their cement. So yeah, it's, it's a busy place from the bringing in the material to getting it delivered to the home to servicing and selling the customer. It's all very important. You know, if you need landscape supplies, come to J&J. &J. Some of our viewers watching tonight, Nicole Turner looking in tonight, Chops. Nicole. How about that? That's the uh, better half of Chops. Michael Con, Michael Consatio. Thanks for looking in. Roger Brightman. Hey, Roger, Roger. What's going on? Thank you very much for looking in tonight. Okay. Be prepared to be entertained. I don't think we've ever had a comic. Or actually, well, he's, a, he's not a comic. He's a, he's a politician. <laughs> We have a comic later. I guess politicians can be comics too. But no, this guy's a singer and he's doing a great job for the city of New Bedford. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the singing counselor, Shane Burgo! Yeah! yeah. yeah. A closer. Right. 
Say hello to audio director Chops Turner, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> All right, here we go. Got the right one? Put it, back, put it back to the beginning, Chops. Start it from scratch. <laughs> all right, all right. You thought you had a rough time debating in the city council chamber. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Chops is uh, going to try to do something a little different over here. Um, let's see what's happening. Somebody to love. I think, we, I think he texted it over. Well, while I'm doing that, um, I did want to say hello to another viewer tonight. You know who's watching tonight? Who's watching tonight? It's Butch Andrade. Butch Andrade is watching tonight. So a shout out to Butch. Thank you very much for looking in tonight. And a shout out to from, let's see, where is she from? Ah, yes, she's from Niagara Falls, New York. Lynn Marie Scrivano looking in tonight. Thank you very much for looking in tonight here on the Paul Santos live show. All right, here we go. Here's Shane. Here we go.
You've got to be kidding me. The singing counselor, Shane Burgo. Holy smokes. <laughs> oh, my God. Welcome to the Paul Sandoz Live Show. Great to have you look again here tonight. Wow, you know, you're a politician and all that, but uh, you ever think about a singing career? Well, uh, <laughs> put that I microphone guess, closer. There. I guess I have there. that to fall back on if uh, <laughs> politics don't work out. Yeah. yeah. Wow, yeah, I'm always joking with Chops about how he hits that. Ooh, it's that high note. Man, he nailed it, Chops, didn't he? Oh, he nailed that sucker, I'll oh, tell you right man, now. Great job, man. <laughs> Well, uh, I know you're on the council and everything like that, and, and you're doing a great job for the city of Bedford. Congratulations, by the way. Second time elected to the New Bedford City yes, Council. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yes. Yeah. I know if I ask you a question about what you're doing for the city, you probably go on for 10 minutes straight. Because <laughs> so I've interviewed politicians before. But I do want to ask you about the singing. When did this all happen? Oh, well, I've been singing, I feel like, forever at this point. Uh, I always tell people, and they say, oh, where can I catch you singing? And I'm like, well, every Sunday or Saturday at Our Lady of Assumption Church, uh, that's my parish. Nice. I've been a part of the choir since I've been able to speak, really. So um, it, it really is not something I, I thought to do professionally at all. It's always been something just fun, or really in church, it's more so a form of prayer. So that's really where I've started my singing career, if, if you want to call it that. Are you but, one of those guys who goes out on karaoke night and just kills it and puts <laughs> everybody to shame? <laughs> huh? I bet you are. Yeah, every now and then. You know, actually, I used to do the karaoke circuit, um, and I, I won a lot of competitions, uh, like the Luxury Box, which is no, uh, I think it's Seacock, it's not there anymore, but that was one of my first competitions. I know a, a gentleman you had on the show here before, Kevin Robinson. Yes. Uh, actually brought me to my first karaoke contest and, you know, really threw me out there. I remember I was terrified. Yeah. And I did Unbreak My Heart by Tony Braxton. I remember I hated how my falsetto sounded in there. And then really for a lot of people, you know, you're not used to hearing a man with a very high voice. So that was kind of my selling point. But from there, you know, <clears throat> my karaoke career, I guess, took off. And then now I'm here on the Paul Santos Live. Oh, ah, yeah, that's right. Thank you. That's great. Thank you for being and I like the way you have that big finish at the end, you know, because that song, that's a great Queen song, of course. And the way it goes to that big crescendo at the end, you look like you're having a blast up there. Oh, well, I, you know, I always try to spice it up a little bit, do a little different. I remember the first time I heard this song, it was in a um, talent show. And I know the original way they do it is he actually does, uh, he does it lower, not actually higher. So I always, especially with doing karaoke uh, and you want to win the contest, a lot of times you, you have to add a little something extra, a little razzle-dazzle, as I, I like to put it. So <laughs> Nice. All right, so in 30 seconds or less. Uh, <laughs> That's hard for a politician, <laughs> let me tell you. What do you enjoy about being a city councilor and serving these Oh, geez. Um, honestly, just having the connection with the people in our community. Um, I know that sounds cliche, uh, but really, you know, when I decided to run, it was you know, again, another cliche for the people, by the people, and of the people. Um, so this time around, being reelected was really validating and felt like, you know, the work that we are doing and continue to do is really showing up for the people, and it really resonated with the voters. So well, nice, looking nice. forward to another two years. Yeah. Nice, fantastic. Well, you know, we did uh, some coverage on your Bedford Guide, which I do, and I interviewed you when you won two years ago, and then I interviewed you again. But the last time I interviewed you, I said, hey, don't forget, you're coming on the Paul Santos Live Show, and he broke into, like, 30 seconds of a Tavar song, right? Oh, yeah. Which one is that? Uh, oh, goodness. I'm trying to remember. Remember which one it was? I don't remember. But anyway, he broke into the Tavar song, and I said, this guy's going to be good. I can tell. This guy's going to be good. That's one of oh, Chops' yeah. uh, enjoyable it only, artists. It only takes a minute, girl. Yeah, I did a, a parody of that. Hey, uh, can you give us 30? How about 30 seconds if it only takes a minute? Come on. Well, we, if we know the song, I did. It only takes a minute, yeah, to go and vote. Let's go and vote. Oh, yeah. It only takes a minute, yeah, to go and vote. Right. Let's go so, and vote. That was my little parry there. <laughs> hey, Shane, thank you very much for stopping I by. I really it. appreciate thank it. You. Keep up the great work on the New Bedford City Council. The singing counselor, yes. yeah. Shane Burgo. Back with comedy right after this. You're watching the Paul Santos Live Show. Thanks for looking in. Falling leaves. Oh, yeah. It's too slow. I don't like that. We're going to do this. Yeah, 
Friday, the mellow, kicking it, baby, yeah. A couple of quick hellos over here. Robert Cabral looking tonight. Anne Lemieux is watching. Thank you very much. Kathleen Hunt, thank you for watching the Paul Santos Live Show. And Mikey Kahn says, hey, you guys are putting on a great show tonight. Shane Burgo was phenomenal. Oh, I think he's right about that. All right, Bruce Sear says, good job, counselor, says Bruce Sear. Tina Andrews is watching tonight. Steve Lopes. Mary Nunez, yeah, Barbara Sylvie, all looking in tonight. Chris Dupont, hey, Chris. Great New Bedford police officer. Thank you for looking in tonight, and on and on it goes, so keep those comments coming. Say hello to the director of comedy, Allison Dayan. Hi. Allison, what's going on with you? Did you have a nice uh, long weekend here with Thanksgiving and everything? Uh, I had a fight with my husband over the weekend. Oh, yeah. sir. Yeah, it usually ends <laughs> up with a fight whenever we go to the casino. Oh. But I think it's because we like different things about the casino. Like he likes roulette, and I like blackjack. Not the game, a black guy named Jack I fool around with when he goes to the casino. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, of course. Yes, of course. No, yes. His name is John. <laughs> <laughs> but no, my husband really does like to play uh, roulette, and he always bets on the number zero, which is ironic, because that's the amount of money he always wins. Yeah, he's a, he's, he, he's a pretty bad gambler, I'd say. I mean, I always told him that I would be there for him when the chips were down. I just didn't expect him to put literally all of his chips down. <laughs> Poor Randy. But it ended up okay. I mean, look, we didn't lose the house, but on a related note, I am going to have to start taking the bus here from now on. <laughs> as long as you make it here, it's okay. Take the bus. Take the bus. <laughs> I will be here, I promise. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Well, I see you got the fancy shoes on again tonight. Well, that's great. I, we I feel do. honored. I, I, I How much are those shoes? shoes? I did, don't tell my husband I want to sell them to play more roulette. <laughs> How much did you pay for those things anyway? They 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 are from the Rentham Outlets, so they were uh, they were discounted. The Rentham Outlets. <laughs> yeah, they were still like three hundred dollars though. Like, wow, that's pretty steep. Yeah. that's pretty steep. Wow. They don't even have Michael Jordan. <laughs> yeah, we're getting a shot of them right now. Yeah, they they look like a, wow. it looks like they got like gold on there. Yeah, yeah, they definitely give me Wizard of Oz vibes, for <laughs> There's sure. There's no place like Rome. There's no place like Rome. See, when I say that, I get transported to the Rentham Outlets. That's the problem. <laughs> I know exactly where the Rentham Outlets are. I've been there many times. You know, I'm driving by the, uh, by the Patriots exit. Well, now I'm better off going to the Rentham Outlets, actually, come to think of it. But anyway, uh, I know you've been putting us in touch with some great comics. I'm going to meet a good guy tonight. I talked to him a few minutes before. Really, really great sense of humor this guy has. Oh, yeah, he's, he's one of my personal favorites. You guys are going to like him. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Liam Marr. Good evening, everybody. How's everyone doing tonight? Cool, loving that energy. It's magnetic. It's magnetic. All right, cool. This is a good start. So, uh... I said my name way back. It's uh, Liam Moore, uh, spelt L-I-A-M-M-E-A-G-H-E-R, uh, uh, but pronounced Mar. It's uh, Gaelic and pretentious. <laughs> so uh, I'm an organ donor. Uh, please hold the applause. Uh, I'm an organ donor uh, for entirely selfish reasons. Uh, see, the way I see it, uh, maybe when I die, I might finally be inside of somebody. <laughs> I might finally be inside of somebody and not be a disappointment to them. Thank you. Uh, that joke is humanizing, I feel. It's important to be as human as possible up here. So uh, New Bedford, right? What a place. What a time to be alive. Thank you. 
I have always dreamed about performing in New Bedford, Massachusetts. Ever since I was a youth, ever since I started this way back in 2016 or whatever. Uh, no, some uh, interesting things about New Bedford uh, I found out. This uh, is the fishing capital of the country. Yeah. yeah. Which uh, explains the smell in here. Am I right? I didn't know this was a fish place when I wrote that. <laughs> <laughs> um, so no, I was, uh, you know, as a comic, right, we're always on the road, you know, constantly, that's me. Uh, I was looking for interesting things to do in New Bedford, and Google told me to look at Rhode Island. <laughs> uh, something else interesting about New Bedford uh, is New Bedford used to be the uh, world leader in um, average per capita uh, income of anywhere else on earth. <laughs> on earth. And now, it is the home of the Paul Santos live show. <laughs> that is in progress, I don't know what is. <laughs> so, uh, thank you very much. So, uh, I finally, you know, other developments going on, uh, I finally locked down uh, one of those sweet work from home jobs all these cool kids are talking about these days. I sell dope from my parents' garage. Yeah. Thank you, Piano Man. No, thank you. <laughs> Talk to me after the show. So, uh, Facts. if you guys see him talking to me after the show, it's for an autograph. So, uh, uh, other developments, you know, I, I had to take a personality, or I took a personality test recently, and it said I failed. <laughs> you guys are cute, thank you. <laughs> so um, I'm uh, I'm working out, trying to uh, trying to get trying to better myself. Any of you guys doing that? Yeah, I would have guessed. No, it's, uh, it's going pretty well for me. I know you guys just met me, but it is going pretty well for me. Uh, I've actually, uh, I broke a record recently. I set my gym's record for loudest sigh. <laughs> you guys are fun. So, uh, I've always been a glass half empty kind of guy. Turns out, I've just been dehydrated. Uh, I love you guys. So uh, I like to say, I like to try and say stuff that's never been said before. Uh, you guys are great. You guys have been very warm. I appreciate you very much. Uh, I'll leave you guys uh, with, uh, with this. Um, dolphins, right? Dolphins. I, uh, I think they're fascinating. <laughs> something, uh, something interesting about dolphins is uh, they're the only other mammal on Earth that mates for pleasure, in my experience. <laughs> Something else about dolphins is uh, they have the highest average intellect of any other uh, species on Earth as well, which I think explains their attraction to me. <laughs> I did lose that internship at SeaWorld. Thank you. My name's Liam Marr. You've been wonderful. Yeah. Thank you, Paul. Thank you Thank so you, Paul. much for being here. Let's hear it for Liam. Great set tonight. All right. Yeah, you guys are great. Thank you. By the way, before we go any further, we have our viewer from London, England watching tonight. Andrea Ryan is watching. Yeah, yes. Can. Go London. I love her. <laughs> She's fine. You can't have her. <laughs> Thanks for the heads up. We'll talk after the show. 
Well, Liam, nice to meet you. I, I'll tell you, that was some great stuff there. And uh, I know you said that you'd only been doing comedy for about four years. Uh, why did you start doing comedy? Was there something about it that you wanted to jump right in there and try it? Um, I, uh, I guess I just didn't feel like I was getting enough attention. <laughs> like in my, my, my whole life. Like, uh, like growing up, uh, you know, elementary school, middle school, high school, you know, I, would, uh, I just felt like people didn't appreciate me, you know? So I was like, what can I do to get people to pay attention to me for at least five minutes at a time? <laughs> and here we are. <laughs> and by the way, you live about, what, an hour and a half from here? I live about an hour and a half from here. So yeah, I was uh, in between uh, New York and here, and I, I chose New Bedford for sure. It's a little <laughs> bit closer. <laughs> no, we appreciate you coming down. Now, like a lot of us here, you know, we do this kind of a fun thing. You have a, another job during the day, right? Yes, sir. What is that? Uh, I am a... Uh, Oh man, I, let me let me think of that to say this vaguely, because um, it's really important. It's my main source of income. So uh, I process uh, medical prior authorizations. It's pretty exciting stuff. Wow. Yeah, yeah. I don't get to be very funny there. I kind of just tell people how screwed they're getting from their insurance. <laughs> but I used to be a claims adjuster, so it's it's on the up now. <laughs> so as far as your material, right? Where do you get most of your stuff from? It's just like daily life, or do you sit down to write stuff, or? Uh, candlelight alone. Um, <laughs> sometimes I do seances, and it just kind of comes. No, I, I usually, truthfully, it comes from like talking um, with friends, like just kind of like regular dialogue, joyous dialogue between friends. Um, sometimes someone says something funny, and usually. I'm one of those people sometimes. That's that sounded arrogant. I didn't mean it that way. Uh, but like you know, you're always trying to make like your friends laugh, right? right? So I'll say something, and then it might not make sense, like the the exact framing of a joke. Because I said it to a friend, but like you can take the premise and work on it that way. Usually, it comes from conversation. Nice, nice. Well, tell me about your future now. You got some shows lined up, and you know, what is your goal kind of going forward now? I know you're a young guy in your 20s. Oh yeah. Um, my goal is to. Um, pay off these student loans. <laughs> um, so I, that'll take like 15 to 25 years. Uh, it's, it's wild, guys, these days. Don't go to college. Um, <laughs> I don't mean to go to something for something useful, like genetic testing. And uh, <laughs> I'm hoping my job doesn't get replaced with AI. That could probably, that's right on the docket, though. So. I don't know. It's really, truthfully, I got this like a uh, big block. This, it looks like a student loan in, in my head. And once I get through that, I don't know. I'll, I'll look to travel a little bit, especially more for stand-up. Uh, make a move at some point. It's hard to believe Central Massachusetts is not the hot spot in the country for stand-up <laughs> comedy. If you can believe it. So uh, I don't know. I think it's just a uh, play it by ear, and uh, enjoy it for now. Have you ever been to New Bedford before? This is my first time in New Bedford. Yeah, yeah nice. What yeah. do you think so far? I love it. I think New Bedford's the uh, fishing capital of the country. And I <laughs> That's think, right. You're damn right. What's not to love? Like, <laughs> Be careful. We got a representative from the council here tonight. You see that? I saw so, that. I was, that a, I was a class president once. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. In college, the, the place where I owe all that money to? Uh, <laughs> no, I was a class president in college. Um, it was a unanimous victory. Uncontested election. Landslide. Landslide. Yeah, I know. Truth, honestly, there was no one else on the ballot. I, I'm told, I'm told I almost lost. <laughs> write in votes. That would have been so embarrassing. Imagine losing into a write in. <laughs> like people have to just click your name, but more people wrote someone else's name in. <laughs> if that had, I would have dropped out. It might have done better things for me overall, but. Well, Liam, you got some great stuff. We really appreciate you stopping by. No, Thank you very much for, for being with us, and keep up the great work. Thank you. Thank Liam Meyer, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, New Bedford. Right you guys are back lovely. With the Queen of Soul. Yeah, Queen of Soul. <laughs> we'll be right back. While away the hours, conferring with the flowers, consulting with the rain. We, we didn't move, but that's good. In my head, I'd be thinking I could be another Lincoln if I only had a brain. I'd unravel every riddle for any individual in trouble or in pain. And 
I've been thinking I could be another Lincoln if I only had a brain. Oh, I could tell you what, the ocean is near the shore. I could think of things that I never thought before. And then I said, and think some more. I would not be just a nothing with my head all full of stuff in it. My heart all full of pain And perhaps I deserve you And be even worthy of you If I only had a brain Come on, Artie, show us up Thank you, thank you both very much. Shout out to some of our viewers tonight. We have Nicholas Pike looking in. Thank you so much. Deb Ramis is saying, great show. Thank you very much, Deb. We have Shakira Gonsalves. Hey, Shakira, thank you for looking in. And Butch Correa saying, nice job, Gary. Okay. If I only had a dream. <laughs> ah, yes, ah, yes. Okay. Well, this lady right here, she is fantastic. In fact, coming up on Friday, December 8th at 7 p.m. at the historic Region Theater in Arlington, Massachusetts, yeah. there is going to be an all-star tribute to the one and only Tony Lynn Washington. So, um, yeah. Tony Lynn Washington, she really, really deserves it. More than a dozen of the East Coast's best performers, vocalists, and musicians will be there to honor her. Ladies and gentlemen, Boston's Queen of the Blues, Miss Tony Lynn Washington! Yeah. Every time it rains, I think of you, and that's the time I feel so blue. When the rain starts to fall in, my love comes tumbling down, and it's raining teardrops from my eyes. Now when you see clouds, here in my eyes It's all because You said goodbye Now although the sun is shining There's no sunny skies Cause it's raining Teardrops from my eyes Remember the night you told me I love what all wouldn't be blue and lonely if you'd come back to me every single cry would disappear I'd wear a smile if you were here so baby won't you hurry you know I need you so and it's raining teardrop from I would 
be blue and lonely if you come back to me every single crowd would disappear I'd rather smile if you were here so baby won't you hurry you know I need you so and it's raining Tony Lynn Washington, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, wow, that was fantastic. I'm going to sit right down here. Is it okay if I join you over here? Oh, absolutely. Nice you to can, see you. Oh, you my can, God. You can join me anytime. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got to tell you. Yeah, you too. Yeah, him too. <laughs> oh, I got some competition over here. Well, I got to tell you, coming up Friday, December 8th, up at the historic Regent Theater in Arlington, Massachusetts, an all-star tribute to do an icon in the music business, Tony Lynn Washington. That's going to be fantastic. Yeah, I think it is. It's going to be pretty big. And I am so humble and so grateful that so many people, um, you know, think of me. You know, at my age, I thought I was on my way out. <laughs> <laughs> but it looks like I'm just getting started. Oh, uh, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> well, at that event... Who's going to be performing but Tony Wilson, the young James Brown, Bruce Bears, we have Brian Templeton, Kit Holiday, Diane Blue, and our very own Chops Turner. How about that? How about it? Yes. Yes, I, I just can't wait. It, uh, it's a great lineup. And uh, also, Isaac Resende is how I have something to do with this. Isaac Resende is here tonight. Yes. That's right. Yes. And how and about DJ Skippy over there? Yeah, yes. he's in the house tonight. Skippy oh. White, a legend. Absolutely. So I know yeah. we never ask a lady her age, but you're always talking about it all the time. So why don't you let the folks know? Well, I'm, I'm pushing up on 87. Oh, how about that? We only do that because it's just fantastic that you're yeah. still doing what you love to do. Yeah, in a few days I'll be 87 years old. Wow, that's fantastic. Yeah, and I am healthy. Yeah, tell everybody I'm big, I'm black, and I'm beautiful. Yeah! Oh, man. Oh, man, I'm loving that. I'm loving that. All right, so you got another song queued up for us tonight? I think so. All right, well, how about we have her do one more song? What do you think, folks? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Boston's Queen of the Blues, Tony Lynn Washington! Thank you. All right. Let's get it on, y'all. Come on, put your hands together. I don't want to lose this good thing that I've got. Because if I do, I will surely, I surely lose a lot. Because your love is better than any love I know. It's like thunder, lightning. The way you love me is frightening. I better knock on wood. I'm not superstitious. Your sweet love is better than any love I know. It's like thunder, lightning. The way you whip it on me is woo. I better knock on wood. Yo 
Queen of the Blues, Tony Lynn Washington. Let's hear it again for Tony. Wow. Thank you. Thank All you so right. Much. Now let's welcome to the program a terrific talk show host. We have something in common. Say hello to Janine Ronda Hunt. <laughs> hey, it's great to meet you. It, it's kind of funny, like when you're a talk show host, like I kind of watching her talk show, and then she's kind of watching my talk show, and they're like, well, we've got to be on each other's talk show. So it's really great to meet you tonight. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, absolutely. Anytime. So how did you get involved so in doing nice a talk show? You've been doing it, what, about four or five years, something like that, or longer? Oh, yeah, yeah. Grab the mic. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> there we go. You do it all, huh, Chops? <laughs> He's the audio director, too. Did you know that? He's a little bit of everything. So welcome to the show, right? Thank you Thank for being you. here. So you're a talk show host, too. You do a show down in the Marion, Mattapoisin area, yes, correct? Yes, in the Tri-Town. Yeah, and how did you start doing that? So a friend nominated me. I don't know why, but she did. <laughs> on fashion, <laughs> oh, right? Nice. In the Tri-Town. Yeah. You know about the fashion out there, No. Right? Oh, I know that exactly. there's a lot of fashion. Exactly. Berries, Crocs. It's oh, not is that much, right? Actually. Oh, yeah. It's a lot of yachts <laughs> and, and not much fashion. So I started with that, and it was a major... It just didn't work out, right? So I decided to revamp the show and instead of working on fashion, working on everything. And I'm still here. So that was seven years ago. Since then, I've had a couple podcasts, which you hear me on now, yes. on WMB1, yes. with uh, B Mags, Mags in the Morning. Yeah, let's hear it for that Mags yes. in the Morning show. Yeah, you know, one day I'm scrolling through the feed and I see you and B Mags up there, and mm -hmm. there's music in the background. It says WNB Radio, and I started listening to the thing, and it was fun. It was great. I yes, loved it. Yeah, you guys are you. shooting the breeze and talking about different stuff, and it's fun. Eight to eleven a.m. Yeah, it's a good, it's a good time. And the music in the background is real good too. I like it, that kind of like. You do know, you like that? Is it too loud? No, no, I like okay, it. Good, I like good, as good, long good. as you're not drowned out because I want to yes. hear what you have to say. <laughs> You were talking about the day after Thanksgiving shopping and all that kind yes, of stuff. Yes, Black Friday. Yeah, Black Friday. Did you go out and yes. shop at all or no? So I went out and bought two pairs of sneakers after the show, and um, that's it. That was my Black Friday shopping. That's it? Just sneakers? Yeah, oh, just a wow. couple of sneakers <laughs> so I can run around the city. Any particular brand that you like? or? Uh, um, not really? No. Whatever's comfortable and cute. I feel like I'm more like old school. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, So yeah, I right. go for more of those comfortable. You got to go for comfort, you know? Yeah. Like me, I like New my balance. Skechers. You know what I mean? I like my Skechers. Platform? <laughs> platform? I no, mean, no, those, no, not platform. Those no, no. $300 heels were looking pretty good. You hey, know? Hey, listen, That's I got to tell you. He, I skipped right over, he skipped right over the Velcro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, he went right from laces to slip-ons. No Velcro. Blah, blah. Well, if you get the double Velcro, you can do the X. Oh, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, yes. It's like, like that. Well, <laughs> that's, you know, that's implying you can bend down and do it. <laughs> <laughs> people, were <laughs> people were joking about the sketches, and then I saw Snoop Dogg doing a commercial, and I was like, wow, hey, Snoop Dogg, man. Snoop Dogg wears sketches, so, you know. He's getting paid. Yeah, yeah, well, that's right, too. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so tell me about this podcast. How long ago did you guys start this in the morning? So it started in July, actually, of this year. All right. So there's been many podcasts through WMB1, but it started in July, and I got on it in pr pretty much September. He wanted to have a female co-host, and mornings are my vibe. Cup of coffee, yeah. some good music, and conversation. So, yeah. That's what you love about it? I love it. All right, so if people yes. want to hear it, let them know how they can do it. Yeah, so it's at WMB1 Radio. Um, actually, download the app. 
WMB1 has a site, and there's other shows on there. You have the Really Charlie Podcast. Yeah, Charlie, Charlie, Charlie Perry's Perry here tonight. Charlie here tonight. Really Charlie yes. Podcast, yep. We have, WMB1 is in the building tonight. Yeah, let's hear it for WMB1. We have Margarita, Brittany, yes. So, yeah. Gee, so that's we do great. our thing. It's, it's a good time. It's fun. You can call in and, and chat with us in the mornings. We love it. I'm going to call in one morning you're when you least in. expect it. Listen, please. Are you going to say your real name? <laughs> yeah, of course. Why not? Because some of the names I'm like, the other day a Betty called. She didn't sound like a Betty. <laughs> but you don't know when it's on the radio, right? Yeah, you're you can disguise your voice on, if so you want to pretend you're yeah, somebody absolutely. else. Absolutely. Like I can call in and say I'm Chops or something like that if yes. I want to Can you do that, actually? <laughs> Tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, uh, check out Janine Ron the Hunt, WNB1 yes. Radio, and we really thank her for stopping by. Thank you for having me. Janine Ron the Hunt. Great jokes tonight, too, by hey, the way. Hey, thank you very much. Oh, now I love her. Now I love her. Right back with Chops. Don't go anywhere. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we always like to uh, finish off with uh, the sidekick of the century and the co-host with Cache because you can usually really close the deal. You know, it's like you go into Mariano Rivera in the bullpen and, like, close things down. You know what I mean? Really, really take it to the next level. So, ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for my good friend and the co-host of the show, world-class vocalist and entertainer, Chops Turner! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for all the fine acts tonight. Come on. Come on, y'all. <laughs> Boy, I enjoyed it. I've been working all week, and it's good to be here. Everybody all right? Tony Lynn Washington, the counselor. What a great job, my man. Much love, man. Fantastic voice. This is one of my favorite songs. Broadway. To dream the impossible dream to fight the unbeatable force. The unbearable sorrow to right the unrightable wrong to right the unrightable wrong to love. Hearing chase from afar to try when your arms are too weak to reach that unreachable star. This is my quest. No matter how hopeless, no matter how far, to fight for the right, right. without question of course, to be willing to march in the hell for the heavenly cause. If I'll only be true to this glorious quest that my heart will like peaceful and calm when I lay to my 
in the world would be better for this. Would be better for this. That one man, one man, scorned and covered with scars, covered with scars, still strong, still strong, with his last ounce of courage. To reach the unreachable, the unreachable, the unreachable star. To reach that unreachable star. It ain't easy, Margarita. <laughs> Thank you, Margarita. Oh, yeah. And I'll always dream. Always dream. The impossible dream. Yeah. And I'll always dream. To reach the unthinkable. Vocalist and entertainer Chops Turner. Keep it going for Chops, yeah. All right, we'd like to take this opportunity to thank our guests. We had three fantastic singers tonight, starting with the singing counselor Shane Burgo. And we'd like to thank Boston's Queen of the Blues, Tony Lynn Washington. Wow, wow. How about the comedy of Liam Marr? Our comedy director, Allison Dian. Yeah. And of course, Chubbs Turner, there he is. And how about Gary Hardy, the best oh, band in all the land, the PSL band. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Chubbs. Shout out to Crazy Casey right over here. We have Juicy Brucey. We have oh, Nate Grace, my, my. lovely wife, Ann. We have Naughty Nancy over there. Jumping John Oliver. All right. And we have Skippy White, legendary DJ in the right. Hey, we're off next week. We'll be back in two weeks on the Tuesday for our Christmas holiday show. And the guests that night will be Kevin Robertson, filmmaker Alyssa Batello, and comic Larry Sword. I'm Paul Santos from Mikey Beast. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching. And don't forget to laugh. Have a great night, everybody. Good night from Mikey Beast. The arm reach out of me, still in peaceful dreams I see. Georgia. I said Georgia.